All right, Matt shot here again with another quick fix video. And I got a problem here with my 2011 Honda Odyssey. So as you can see, I've got one dome light lit up. I've got the door open and uh, I've got this here switch. You can turn it off, you can do door or on. And no matter what, this one will not come on. Now, I have attempted to change out this bulb and it did not fix my problem so uh, the next step to troubleshoot this is there's a little switch in here and I'm gonna replace that switch and uh, it's actually pretty cheap so I'm gonna see if that is my problem so I'm gonna uh, demonstrate how to remove replace the bulb as well as replace this switch so let's uh, get this apart and see what the problem is now when I'm working here, my hands are probably going to be in the way, but uh, basically there's a pivot point on this light so it can swivel like that. Uh, and that's here and here. So I'm going to pry it off to the side a little bit here. So I'm going to get it in here first. And uh, what you want to do is get it up on top of the light, on top of the lens, and then pry it down. So I don't know if this tool will work. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, it's definitely a little too flexible, I think, but I still think it should work. Now, you can use a flathead for this. I got the other side out, so. Okay, there it is. Okay, there she is. So, as you can see, there's just these little clips on here that hold this piece in. And so your actual bulb is right here. And it's real easy when if you need to change your bulb. Now I've already tested the bulb and it's fine. Uh, that's not my problem. There's a switch right here to turn it on and off. And that's what we're going to be replacing is this switch specifically. But uh, yeah, if you need to change your bulb out, and a set of these bulbs is five, six dollars at O'Reilly's, which I just picked up. But yeah, you just pop this out and pop the new one in. It's just got these little clips here that hold now, it in. Before I get into this next step, I just wanted to show you guys a little closer up here what we're looking at. So in this view here, you can see we got a screw right here. And then over here, you got the same thing with the screw right there. Now, when you flip this down, you'll see here, two more screws. So, I'm gonna quickly remove all four of those, and uh, once those are out, then we can uh, get access to those switches. So, let me uh, get those out here real quick. Okay, so with all the screws out now, uh, this thing is about ready to just fall out, but uh, I'm going to take it down, and it's got some wiring connections on the back side. I'm going to undo one of them so I can drop this section down, and uh, probably be easiest if I pop this out and then move the camera here so you guys can see the back of this. Um, and so right here, this black square, that's one of my switches. Now I'm going for the other one. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but that black square right back there is the switch. And this, this wiring harness here, I'm gonna disconnect it right above there. And that's gonna free this bottom portion up so I can get access to what I need to here. Okay, I kind of had that loose already, so now that's disconnected. Um, and then it's pretty simple, I can pop that part out. Now I'll put this back in place here. So just pop that back in there. And uh, now I've got full access to this switch. So here is the old switch. Now this just slides out of here. 
like that um, and as you can see those three prongs now this is black on top but uh, I'll show you here it it is the exact same switch same size and everything um, just the colors different because it's it's not an actual Honda part I guess but uh, I actually spoke with a Honda technician before doing this job and uh, he explained to me that if I was having issues with the map light that he said it was more than likely the switch not a bulb issue or a fuse um, in this case only one light was out so that I knew it wasn't a fuse um, but yeah so figured I will try this switch um, so all I'm gonna do is uh, take this switch put it right in here just like the other one was slide it in make sure those little uh, prongs line up right there and then clips right in like that so now it's in uh, let me uh, go ahead and put this all back together in reverse just remember to uh, reconnect your wires here and uh, we'll put all the screws in and We'll, uh, we'll give it a test. Now, real quick, before I put all my screws in, I plugged in my wiring harness like I talked about on the back side, and immediately I noticed that, hey, it's working. So, uh, definitely was the switch. That was my problem. So, uh, like I said, going to get my bolts in and then put my lens covers back on, and we are back in business. All right, uh, a couple little quick tips I wanted to point out while I was doing this. Um, when I'm tightening these screws down, I don't go real tight. Uh, I just kind of get them started really well, and then I'll come back through and tighten them up. Uh, I am using a magnetic tip screwdriver, so it definitely helps to just be able to put the bolt in and then, you know, guide it right into the hole without me having to, you know, try to hold a screw while doing that. So, um, you know, that... That little plastic tool I pried the lenses out and this Phillips is really all you need for this job. So pretty simple. Uh, definitely something you can do at home yourself. So uh, go ahead come back through and snug these up a little bit. Now we can put our lens covers back on. And so with this all you got to do is just pop them on there. And uh, those clips should go right into place. So that you don't even need a tool for just uh, get them both in okay and now this side just make sure you got it lined up it won't work anyways if you don't but clip it in all right we are officially done and uh, before this light would not turn on no matter what uh, as you can see it works they both work uh, problem is fixed so definitely something you can do yourself I highly recommend you do uh, the switch two switches cost me $15 and just a little bit of time right here in my garage at my house and uh, you can definitely do it yourself so I encourage you guys to do so save some money have some fun uh, if you have any questions please comment below I'll do my best to uh, help you out like I said I did talk to a Honda technician specifically for this and he recommended that it would be the switch, not the bulb, um, and said that that was kind of a common failure. So glad he gave me that advice, and sure enough, that was the problem. So uh, yeah, hope that helps you guys. I, uh, I plan to make more videos whenever I need to do something, whether it's at work or all my personal stuff. So uh, keep checking in, and yeah, thanks for watching.